This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's up you wonderful people, as promised, today I'm talking about three simple tips to uh, you know, stop doing your, your Instagram stories wrong. Before I get into the simple ones, I was just thinking like, why don't I show you, in case you want, the complex way, just like how Jesse Driftwood does it. That video was one that I got to help Jesse with the last time we were both in New York. Fun fact, that very last shot took me about 30 tries to get. Jesse, <laughs> Jesse just kept being like, yeah, yeah, no, that's that's good, but like, you gotta, you're spinning the wrong way 30 times in a row. Dude is an absolute master. Okay, three tips. Gonna be totally honest with you, it's actually five. Also, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to discourage you from doing amazing level up Instagram stories like Jesse does. It's just, I'm talking about the simple ones, the simple ones in this, okay? I'm gonna do them in order from least effort, just like stop doing it, to most effort, um, something you'll have to start doing. All right, let's get it. Thing number one. The first thing has to do with clickable links whenever you're tagging somebody. If you're able to interact with one of the features on Instagram, don't put them on the right side of the frame. This is super important because so many times I end up skipping over a story because I'm trying to click on whatever the tag is and then it just goes to the next story because Instagram's UI is messed up like that. Easy, easy, just don't put them over there on the right side. Next thing I want you to remember is you don't need to post your Instagram stories in real time. If you take a little bit of time, just capture it with your actual camera app and then post it a couple minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes later, a, it's safer, and B, it gives you more time to think through what's the story, how am I pulling the audience through this Instagram story. Okay, so everything I've told you so far has been pretty straightforward, like really no excuse not to do those things. Here we're gonna get a little bit more time consuming. The next thing is never talk to your story without putting some sort of overlay text. I like to just transcribe it. 95% of the time, I'm watching stories on silent. I can't hear what you're saying. I actually picked this up from Keiko in New York City. She was constantly putting transcripts in just in writing on her stories and I would read every single one and I realized how much more Instagram started showing me her stories because I was reading every single one so that's a massive hack. Write down what you're saying when you're just talking to your phone. Just wanna take a quick moment and thank Squarespace, the sponsor of this video and of many of my videos in the past. In case you don't yet know what Squarespace is, it's an online website creation tool. So it's template-based, plenty of professional templates to showcase your work, perfect for any freelancer or filmmaker. Just to get a portfolio, show your stuff to the right people. They've got marketing tools, just all of the most up-to-date ways to build an online presence and a personal brand. Either type this link into your browser or hit the link in the description. Squarespace, thanks again for supporting creators. It really means a lot. Okay, now the most advanced of anything I'm gonna tell you is instead of just talking, if you have a talking section, think about it like a video. What B-roll could you throw over that? Use a free app or an app like Adobe Rush, cut together three or four clips, start with B-roll, then go to the talking. I've found that if someone sees talking right away, they're more likely to skip. If they see an interesting image right away, they're more likely to stick even though I start talking later on. Okay, it's about engagement. Let's talk about what I was talking about earlier with ease. Just in case you're a bit of a skeptic like me and you're asking yourself, Cody, doesn't that defeat the purpose of Instagram stories? They're supposed to be these little quick snaps into my life and just show people what I'm doing. 100%, like the majority of your stories can be that way. I, I love that. I love when people who do level up stories just do that very raw, you can tell they picked up the phone and just posted it. Don't lose that stuff. I'm saying if you wanna level up your game and do some easy stuff that lets Instagram and the algorithm of Instagram know this is a real player. Like, we gotta show this person's content to more people because they're doing good stuff. Trickle some of these in there, all right? Tr trickle. <laughs> I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. Subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe share this video with a friend. Check out Squarespace, link in the description. Um, yeah, really appreciate you hanging out here and sticking around. This was very fun. Ramina, Willie, I'm very glad that I came on the waterfall hike and didn't take your and uh, 
What was that band's name? Don't go chasing waterfalls. What is that band? What, ah, what? I can't. Please comment what that. The name of. I can't. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to. Yeah, if you could comment, that'd be great. Cause I don't. I can't remember. Waterfalls.